Good evening, everybody. My name is Gina Legeza. I'm your area sales manager with America's Preferred Home Warranty. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for joining me tonight. We're going to talk about your first deal. How exciting uh, with, with home warranty in it. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been with America's Preferred Home Warranty for seven years. And this seems to be the buzz because we're in bold right now. I'm actually 23 times bold. So uh, you've got somebody here who's very experienced, uh, happy to help you, um, and excited to teach you about your first deal concerning home warranty. Uh, in the chat box, I have put my email, contact information, and phone number. Uh, there is a portion of our training tonight that we're going to go over that I strongly suggest you send me your email um, because I'd like to meet with you individually for five to 10 minutes on Zoom again to teach you how to learn real pro. And that's how you'll process your paperwork. It's the easiest, fastest, most efficient way. So we'll get to that later on in the training. So again, just wanna welcome everybody. We're gonna start out talking about why a home warranty in this market. I love to state the question, why a home warranty in a global pandemic seller's market, right? Uh, it's like a market of no other, but we're busier than ever and, and very grateful for that. So a lot of people say, why a home warranty? Peace of mind, protecting one of the biggest investments of your life. Um, I like to say it's a risk reduction for all parties. So why a home warranty? It's a risk reduction for all parties, okay? Um, what does a home warranty cover? A lot of people confuse our home warranty with homeowner's insurance. It's not. It's a one-year policy that's in place, okay? Um, and it covers all the major systems in the home, including the appliances. So everyone on the call is going to love this awesome word that I made up. Uh, what home warranties cover, peach. They cover plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating, okay? So we're not in homeowner's insurance. A good thing about describing what we cover is if there was a colonial home and there was plumbing on the second floor and there were issues and the toilet overflowed and ruined the floor and the base moldings and it leaked down to the carpeting, Everything I've just described would be a state farm insurance claim. Uh, our home warranty is gonna cover the plumbing, uh, the mechanicals of the plumbing, okay? As your home warranty partner, we are the only home warranty company that allows homeowners to choose their own licensed contractor. This is absolutely huge for you and your clients. And the reason it is, is because if, the customer say, for example, it's frigid temperatures right now. Let's say they're without any heat. They can call who they want, uh, open a claim with us, and we will actually authorize that repair right as the contractor's out there. So it's done immediately. They don't have to wait. They don't have to be without heat. Um, and that's going to keep your referral tree going with your customer because they're going to get the absolute best experience ever. So let's talk about, I'm going to share my screen and just go over something really crucial that you need to know. And we're going to talk about our brochure. So our brochure is branded for your convenience to set yourself apart from any other realtor in the industry. Uh, everything is branded in our Keller Williams bright red colors, okay? And you'll see everything that we don't cover in our brochure is bolded black letters. So it's pretty simple. Um, and we're gonna talk about scripting in just a few minutes to your client, okay? So as we skim through the brochure, the paperwork that you're responsible for filling out is two pieces of paperwork. It's the application page, okay, which I have right here. And the other piece of paperwork that you are responsible for is a data collection form. The data collection form is very simple. You can see that it's the property um, information, what kind of home it is. You do not have to put the appliance names. You can choose 
to share the MLS facts, like what's the source of the home with heat, uh, what appliances come, check marks, very simple, and then your information. Every time you sell a home warranty, you actually get $50, but it's very important that you make sure that you fill out this data collection form, okay? So we have two forms, again, the application page and the data collection form, okay? So what's really important um, with our coverage, you can see here, listings are key, right? Everybody on this call, I'm sure if it's your first transaction, everybody wants to get more listings, right? I have something called the door hanger. It's an amazing tool for you to use when you're canvassing an area. Um, you can put it on the door, it's COVID friendly, very safe that says, if I get your listing, I'll pay for your home warranty. It's a RESPA compliant tool. Uh, if you want a physical copy of this door hanger, I can send that to you or leave it for you at our market center. If you want the PDF version to do an email campaign and get more listings, uh, I can send it via email to you. So very important um, agents that utilized our door hanger got an additional seven to 10, 10 listings last year. So this is huge. I mean, this is a tool that you really want to help with your listings. So let's talk about why list with a home warranty for your seller. Number one, when you list with a home warranty, you get all this complimentary coverage for your seller, okay? Um, so plumbing, electrical, uh, you know, hot water tanks, stoppages, all these things are complimentary, okay? And including this list secure. And what that is, it's legal protection, for your seller, which means if there's any post-sale disputes, we'll give them $1,000 of any attorney they choose. This is incredible. We're the only home warranty company that protects the seller legally. And you might say to me, Gina, in this market, when sellers are getting over asking, why would we list with that home warranty? Well, they're getting legal protection. They're getting complimentary coverage. Um, it discourages price negotiation. And very important, if a buyer's agent decides to bring a buyer in and there's no home warranty in place, what if that buyer's agent asked your seller to pay for a home warranty that could be upwards of $800? Our warranty is only $425 for one year. So it's an incredible savings. And lastly, when you list with a home warranty, if the buyer comes in and does a home inspection and things are on that home inspection, your seller can open claims. So it, it's an incredible reason, uh, incredible value to list with a home warranty. The seller has up to $1,000 in coverage during the time of listing. They don't pay for anything until they go to the closing table, okay? If you want your seller to have these additional items protected during the time of listing, like appliances and heating and cooling, you do have to add the $75 seller upgrade. Okay, um, so 425 plus 75 is 500 dollars. Again, seller does not pay anything till we go to the closing table. Okay, so that is why you would list with a home warranty. Very important. So for buyers, it covers all the items we talked about, peach. Okay. Uh, we also have a buyer upgrade for $140. It covers things additionally, enhances our 425 plan. Like if, if a client wanted to um, replace their toilets, that's not covered unless they have this fire upgrade. If the Freon, uh, if there's loss of Freon in their AC unit, not covered if they don't have this fire upgrade. So you can kind of see from the chart, it's extremely important um, to talk about your buyers, you know, having this option of the buyer preferred upgrade. And then agents ask me, Gina, if we want the buyer's upgrade and all this great coverage, you know, and then maybe like a washer dryer add-on, we put everything together for 685 and called it our buyer's premier coverage plan. Okay, so that's an option too. Um, I think a lot of people get confused that is the seller have one policy on the listing and then it transfers to the buyer? It doesn't. It's one warranty that the seller, if you list with it, that transfers to the buyer. 
when the buyer closes, let's say they close on January 28th, that's when the one-year clock starts for the buyer. Um, one year of coverage. And I'm going to tell you, and this is very shocking on this call, um, over 87% of homeowners experience a major system failure in the first 30 days. So everybody on this call, you know, Veronica, Lashton, um, Alex, everybody I'm seeing, okay, can you imagine how hard that you work? to get this deal to the finish line. You're getting them gifts, everything's great. Your client's talking about painting everything gray and all the cabinets white, right? Never in their wildest dreams do they imagine when they spent the money that they did and out, you know, bid everybody else and got their dream home, they never probably imagined that maybe their furnace would go down. That's thousands of dollars that maybe they don't have out of pocket. So extremely important, the home warranty, uh, what it's designed to do, and this is the easiest scripting to do with your clients. And I'll take Veronica, who's on the call with us as an example in a role play. If Veronica was my client and I was the realtor, I would say, Veronica, you have a one-year home warranty. Uh, there's going to be things that are gonna be covered. There's things that are not gonna be covered. Uh, home ownership does unfortunately the client's going to have to bring, you might have to bring some out-of-pocket money into the deal when things break. But what the warranty is going to do, it's going to alleviate that financial burden in your first year for many expenses. Uh, you can choose your own contractor and you can choose whatever you want when you have to replace something. Um, and sometimes if you have to replace a big ticket item like a furnace, that $425 warranty is getting you a 10-year manufacture warranty with service and parts. So this can be extremely beneficial. And you'll see the top portion of our warranty has pricing. Uh, we have one warranty, not confusing packages. We have a $100 deductible or a $50 deductible. That means every time the homeowner uh, opens a claim, that's the deductible they have to pay. We take the deductible out at claims. So if they had a $400 bill, and we approve the 400, we would take the $100 out and we can reimburse them uh, if their claim is approved or if the contractor takes a credit card, we can pay the contractor over the phone, okay? If that makes sense. And then we cover duplexes, there's the pricing structure and condos. Um, I will tell you, as we talked about earlier, you're required to turn in two pieces of paperwork, the application, and we talked about the data collection form because that's how you get your $50 every time you sell home warranty. Uh, please email me uh, in the chat box. I have put my contact information for everybody to see. Uh, I'd like to do a five minute one-on-one -on -one with you and demo Real Pro. It's our online web portal system that allows you to turn these two pieces of paperwork so you don't have to hand write them anymore you can enter them online in under 30 seconds. It's amazing. And we also have a mobile app uh, for Real Pro. So you're sitting in your car, you can do these two pieces of paperwork on our web portal in under 30 seconds. I strongly suggest everyone on this call get a Real Pro account. Uh, you can contact me through my email and I'll be happy to get you one. And it'll just take five minutes to show you how simple it is to enter uh, a home warranty. Um, I'm going to also show you guys at our market center, uh, we talked about legal protection for the seller. Look at these fabulous customized PR materials. If anybody would like these, it explains the legal listing protection. Uh, we have the benefits of listing with a home warranty. So we have seller and buyer benefit sheets. Uh, this gives incredible reasons why the homeowner should list with the home warranty. Think about yourself with one of our folders, our customized brochures, this seller benefit sheet, and you're going on a listing appointment. You're going to get that listing, okay? You're standing out in the crowd of real estate agents because you're coming prepared. So if anyone's interested in these handouts, I can absolutely get those ordered to your front door for you as well. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I'm gonna open up the floor for questions. So if anyone has questions, please unmute yourself. And I am 
here and ready to answer whatever you got for me. I have a question. Hi, Veronica, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, so you said if the seller gets the warranty, it transfers to the buyer at closing? Yes. And then at closing, well, at, or the day or whenever that day is, that's when the one year clock starts for the buyer. Yes. And excellent. prior to that, so when the seller gets it, they have their own one year clock. So the seller, it depends how long the home is on the market for. So let's say uh, Lashin, Lashin is on the call with us. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Lashin, but Lashin's on the call. Let's say Lashin is the listing agent and he has a home warranty on. Okay. You come in, Veronica, and you bring the buyer. Um, and everybody agrees to the terms. We're going to close on February 1st. Lashton, if he listed a day with a home warranty for his seller, that seller has all this great protection and coverage up till February 1st. Uh, when your client closes on February 1st, Veronica, they're going to then, same policy, they're going to enjoy one year of home warranty coverage. So just because Lashen enters a uh, home warranty and lists with it, that doesn't interfere with your buyer's one year. It's one policy that transfers to the other person and, and the clock starts when the buyer transfers title and takes possession of the home. Does that help? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great question. That's a great question. I get asked that question a lot. Um, a lot of people ask me too, for those of you on the call that are new, you might not know to ask me this. I don't know why, but hot water tanks and furnaces love to break down on a Saturday night. They just do. And you might say to yourself, what do we do, Gina? What do we tell our client? I will not have any of our clients be without air, water, or heat. So I'd like them to call our 1-800 number and open a claim, but they need to do what they need to do to get safe in their home, okay? I don't want anybody without heat, water, or air. So always have them call in and open a claim, but if they need to get heat and they haven't gotten approval yet, that's what they need to do. They need to stay safe. And I will tell all of you, it's your responsibility on a local level when you sell a home warranty, you wanna make sure that they, you give them our brochure so they can read through it, understand the coverage, you know, and I'm also available to talk to your clients if they have any questions about what to expect in the first year. Great question, Veronica. Thank you. Who else has more questions for me? Hi, this is Alexis. I apologize. My phone was going in and out. I'm not sure if you answered the question, um, but when the seller pur purchases the warranty and then um, the buyer purchases the home, um, is that cost? Um, I'm trying to. Well, do they get a deduction in cost from what they are what they've already paid, or how does that continued coverage go? It's a great question, um, Veronica. I think you probably caught the tail end of it. It's a great question, Veronica yes. and I were talking about that. So let's say Veronica lists with our home warranty, and she's offering that, and you're going to bring the buyer in, and the buyer okay. agrees to the terms, and we're going to close February first. Veronica's seller has coverage till February 1st on the listing side. That policy then transfers over to your buyer on February 1st, and then your buyer enjoys coverage. It's the same warranty for one year. So just because oh. we list the home warranty, it doesn't eat into the buyer's uh, time. It's the same warranty, just think of one policy transferring from seller to buyer, it's 425 period, not 425 for the seller, 425 for the buyer. It was 425, it transfers to the buyer and then the clock starts when the buyer uh, takes possession and title transfers to them. Okay, so it's definitely an incentive to buy um, with the listing when you're getting the listing. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, and thank you, that's a great question. And I'll tell you what we're getting a lot now a lot of people are saying, 
What if my client changes their mind and they close two days ago? What do I do? What if they want the warranty? Can they get the warranty? Yes, contact me. If you just tell them, call the 1-800 number, they can pay $75 to $100 more. They won't get real estate pricing. So if they change their mind after closing and want it like a week, up to like a week after, call me. We'll get them real estate pricing and we'll get you credit. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I love the questions I'm getting. Lash and how are we doing? Are you with us? Any questions for you? Okay, in the chat box is my email, jlegaza at aphw.com, and my phone number's here. If anyone would like five to 10 minutes with me on a one-on-one -on, -one on the Real Pro system where you can do this paperwork, the application and the data collection form so you don't have to handwrite it the first time you do your home warranty deal, um, you know, contact me. I'm happy to demo that for you. I think it's crucial we do that. Um, Lashin has a question. How does the deductible work? Great question, Lashin. I'm glad you asked. So let's say that Veronica is my buyer and she's closed on the home and she used the plumbing and the next day she's got a problem. She's got a leak. She calls our 1-800 number, opens a claim by simply just giving her property address. We'll ask, you have a contractor of your own that can come out? She'll say yes. Um, she'll get the contractor out there and the contractor notices it's gonna be about $400 worth of work to be done. Uh, they will call uh, our contractor line and get approval. And let's say we approve 400. Let's say that client has a $100 deductible. We're going to, um, we can reimburse her um, for $300 because we're gonna take that $100 at claims level out. Or we can, while the contractor is there, pay the contractor the $300 and uh, the contract, then uh, the customer would owe the contractor $100 if that makes sense. So the cl at claims, the easiest way to explain it is that we take the deductible out at claims. We take that deductible out, the contractor never collects it for us. We take it out and we send a reimbursement check for the 300 um, or we give the $300 payable to the contractor on the phone if he accepts a credit card. So then the, con you know, then the homeowners basically out of a $400 bill, the homeowner you know, got $300 reimbursed. Does that help Lash and how I explained it? Perfect. Great question. Thank you. You guys have really good questions tonight. I appreciate it. Any other questions before we conclude our training this evening? I want to thank all of you for joining me. I look forward to working with you on your first deal. Please know that I'm going to make you look good so you can get repeat referrals and keep our clients very happy. Um, thank you again. Have a wonderful evening.